Hey guys, Ross here. Happy to be back with you for another daily shave. Today's shave is going to feature fine accoutrements, L'Orange Noir. And I have already got this loaded up in my West Coast Shaving Honeycomb brush. So let me just wet the face and we'll get into the soap. All right, so L'Orange Noir is based off of a very well-known fragrance, Terre de Hermes, which is, uh, in my opinion, is quite a masculine scent. I will let it be known right off the bat that I very much enjoy this scent. I have not smelled the cologne but if it is anything like what I get from this soap and the aftershave, which I will use at the end of this, um, I would expect that it is quite an amazing cologne. The notes on L'Orange Noir are orange, vetiver, peppercorn, patchouli, cedar, benzoin and geranium and the strength, scent strength off of the tub I would say is um, for me it's about a six it is a uh, slightly above above average Just adding some water into this I have reviewed fine soaps before, um, particularly Snakebite. Um, that was actually a dual review with uh, one of our other daily shavers, Kai. And fine soaps are a triple milled tallow-based soap. And one thing I can tell you about these is that they are quite firm in terms of the consistency. So uh, I would say if you are a bowl lather, you will definitely need a spoon or something to kind of dig into the soap to really get some out and uh, to press into a bowl. But this scent is phenomenal. It is quite amazing. All right, try off my hand here. We're back to a straight razor for this shave. So I have two days of growth and we're gonna start out with the grain. Now, one thing I would say about fine, which I don't know that I mentioned in my dual review, but fine is kind of one of those classic brands, in my opinion. Um, not necessarily quite as old as, say, your Parasso or Cella. Um, soaps, soaps like that, that are, you know, kind of along the vintage lines, but fine has been around for quite some time and it is very much associated with kind of one of those brands that, um, are mentioned to beginners. It is, uh, it is a reliable base. It kind of provides all of the metrics that you would look for in a shave. It is, uh, despite its 
tougher consistency and being triple milled, it still is a very easy soap to lather. It can take a lot of water. Um, as you saw when I was lathering up, I think I added water maybe at least three times. And um, that's just really to ensure that the soap is well hydrated and that I can dial it in exactly where I need it to be. So that was a very drama free first pass. Very smooth, very comfortable. The slickness is adequate, both primary and residual. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't necessarily consider it elite to a lot of other um, more modern day artisans, but as I mentioned, this is still one of those soaps that's very reliable. And it will definitely get the job done. The consistency of this lather is rather thick. So when that happens, I usually tend to add some more water to it. Try to give it a little bit more of that slickness. There we go. That feels a little bit better. Now Fine has uh, many other scents that are out there that are very well known. Um, I would say arguably the most popular would be uh, Platinum, which is based off of another famous fragrance, Creed Aventus, which is another absolutely outstanding scent. The American Blend is another popular one that comes to mind, which is a very popular barbershop scent. And there are many, many other ones as well. So especially for anyone that's a beginner, I would highly recommend checking out Fine Accoutrements line. See what scents may stand out to you. So far, this has just been a very comfortable shave. Two days growth can be a bit of a beast for me. Since I have very coarse facial hair. So that really kind of emphasizes my need to, to really have a, a reliable soap that's going to provide adequate slickness for the razor to just glide through my facial hair. And this has had no problem.
last bit here. All right. Very good. I'm really happy with where that's at. Just clean off this blade. All right, I'm gonna rinse and we'll get to the post shave. So we're going to be pairing it up with the matching aftershave splash. Now the splash is nothing to write home about in terms of its uh, properties and skin nourishing properties. There really isn't much in terms of skin nourishment in it. It's comprised mainly of alcohol, water, and fragrance. And because this is an alcohol-based aftershave and there's really not much else in it, it will certainly let you know if you, uh, if you overdid it too much, if you went over areas too much, um, it will leave quite a sting. Luckily, really no sting for me, so that was quite pleasant, but usually it will certainly uh, let you know if you got too close in any uh, specific areas. But in terms of the scent, um, I think I do get more of the, the sort of like bitter orange in the uh, splash as opposed to the soap, but both are still, it's an amazing fragrance in general. So um, I, would, I would highly recommend checking this out if you haven't already. I don't know that there's too many other uh, soaps or aftershaves on the market that are based off of this scent, at least that I can think of off the top of my head, but it is quite pleasant and um, definitely worth checking out. All right, guys. Well, that's it for me. I enjoyed the shave. I hope you all did as well. Look forward to seeing you for the next one. See ya.